people with uh, What to Do YouTube. It's your boy D Money back again with another three on three freestyle video. So today we're going to be going over the quick January 11th, 2023 crew season update that we got. So the first thing that we're going to go over looks like there's a new crew sign up event. Now, the only thing I'm not too sure about this one. So if you join a new crew, you basically get those three rewards at the bottom on February 8th. But I don't know if that applies to anybody who leaves a crew and then joins a crew. I'm gonna give it a try just to see if that works, but the only thing with that is if you leave a crew, you have to wait 24 hours before you can join back. But it might be worth it to try to see if you can get those items right there. Now, the one thing that burns my nuts with Joy City is that particular coin ball that they say they're gonna give you is, it's a picture of the 300% coin buff ball, but they're actually gonna give you the 100% coin ball, and I hate when they do that. It just annoys the hell out of me. And if you are going to do this, you have to do it before February 7th in order to qualify for those rewards. Next thing it looks like they updated is they updated the, the crew loot boxes that you get at the end of each crew season, which I think this is a lot better than what they usually give us. So based on your crew score at the end of the crew season, everyone gets P points, which like I said, is a lot better than what they gave us last time. Because I think what well, you would get either some coins or you got a what was it three random gold packs which most of the time you didn't even get a gold card out of that so you end up getting a bunch of like three free silver cards and that was all based on where you individually ranked inside of your crew so i think this is a lot better the only thing is some people might not like about it is it benefits everybody so if you have people that are in your crew that don't really play that much they get those crew points too but Personally, I'd rather this than the other way around. All right, so it looks like the next one you get is anytime that you play with a friend or someone in your crew, and we'll go over this in the detail. So with this particular event, you don't necessarily have to play with anyone in the crew. As long as there's someone in your friend list, you can actually qualify for this as well. So as long as a, as a group, you play three matches, as long as in one, you, you drop 20, another game, you drop 30, another game, you drop 40. As a crew, it doesn't have to be individually, but you have to do this with a friend and or someone that's in your crew so you won't qualify these if you're solo queuing you have to have someone you have to invite someone into your matches to qualify for these rewards here you get three p three p buff tickets which i actually need some of those you get a gold pet kennel ticket which i could care less about and you get three random platinum card packs okay and here's the play as a team win as a team event so like i said as long as you're playing with someone that you invite, you don't it doesn't necessarily have to be anyone in your crew. It could be just someone that you're friends with, and y'all be in different crews, and you still qualify for these rewards. As long as someone, as long as you drop 20 in one game, 30 in another game, 40 in another game, that doesn't mean you have you solely have to drop 20 as a crew. As long as you got 20 points, 30 points, 40 points, you qualify for these rewards. Like they just basically reworked the entire crew system, which I am. Um, definitely not mad at because it needed it so as you go into your crew you can see they pretty much reset everything you look at everyone's crew rankings yeah how y'all get 400 yeah get 400 already <laughs> update just dropped as you can see they pretty much reset everyone's crews and made some changes to the token shop which it definitely needed so as far as the intensive manual intensive notes those are still there which honestly if you're playing as a crew this these two should be priority always because this is how you get your p5 your p5 and your p6 character so these should always be priority number one looks like they took the joey and the cindy outfits out which i'm glad because that was kind of stupid anyway because those were temporary anyway so i'm not about to spend coins on a temporary outfit for a character but you see they give you the black rabbit jersey black rabbit shoes which those are converse they love giving us converse got the sleeve rabbit ears training ball gold pack ticket freestyle tickets silver pack tickets pet tickets only downside these are going to be temporary so it's possible that hopefully they just swap them out with something else i don't know what they could swap them out with but as you can see, you won't keep you won't get these for long. But I say if they keep these, that'll be okay. 
for now at least. And as for the crew quests, these are your missions. Get a hundred for checking in, which I'm glad they did that because they didn't give you anything for checking in. Play a regular match and you get it. So the cool thing about that, if you solo queue a lot, you're still getting crew points, which I think is, they. I'm glad they did that. Same thing for rank. And they give you more crew points. They give you, you get more crew points for playing as a crew. And as your crew points go up, these are the rewards that you get. So for bronze and the percentages, these are the rewards that you get. Silver. Gold. And platinum. And as a sidebar, it looks like we get random platinum packages back. ADP gives you the random platinum pack with five platinum cars and a coin ball. 149P gives you 10 randoms with five skill balls and five intensive notes. They also brought the special platinum card sale, dropping the 10 pack 20% off. 30 for one, 264 for 10 pack. So if you're a wallet, this is the one that you want to rack up on. All right, so it looks like that'll do it. Not bad of an update. I'm actually pretty excited about the improvements that they made to the crews. A long time overdue. I don't think they made any changes to that crew store since it's been out. <laughs> like, honestly, every time you go up in there, it's just, it's the Joey outfit, it's the Cindy outfit, the notes, intensive manuals, and I think there was like two coin balls in there, like a blue one and a yellow one, and that was it. So we definitely needed this update. Happy about it. But that'll do it for me. Wasn't gonna take too much of you guys' time. It's your boy D Money. Like, comment, subscribe. We're almost at 100 subs, so I definitely appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me over the past few months since I started this journey. Uh, look for this little goofy ass box up in here and like that we gone